a course to walk it on Monday. Minnesota golfers will play 100 holes in a single day to raise funds and awareness for brain injury benefactors. KFAN's Brandon Molesky is here to talk about the sixth annual Birdies for Brains event. Good to have you on. Always great to see you. Great to have you in front of the camera for once. <laughs> uh, Birdies for they Brains. They might disagree with you, well, but. <laughs> We won't go there. We, th luckily, there's no feedback, at least not instantly. Um, tell me about Birdies for Brains, how, how this idea kind of came about six years ago. Yeah, so Brian Eater is the founder of it, and he you know, just decided one day I want to play hooky from work and <laughs> golf as many holes as possible. And while he was doing it, I thought he thought it might be cool to start a charity. And you know, two years previous to that, his uh, sister almost passed away mm -hmm. from a brain aneurysm, and luckily the doctors uh, saved her life, so he was inspired by it. And... It's grown from four golfers to, uh, to eight golfers. You know, four years ago, there were 12 golfers race, raising $10,000. Now we have 48 golfers hoping to raise $125,000. That's awesome. And you've got a couple celebrities as well. Mark Parrish is going to be out there for a couple holes. He's only playing one hole, though, right? I mean, he could play some more. Jordan well, yeah. Leopold's going to be there while yeah, I like Mark. I think they're both going to be him. out there. And <laughs> they're, you know, I think the, the plan is for them to kind of play one hole with every group yeah. out there so everyone gets a, so chance to, get, gets a chance to play with them. Yeah. Well, that's but, good. But they haven't experienced it yet. Not like the, you The pace have. of play. Yeah, tell me about that. I mean, it's one thing to, you know, this isn't like normal hang out, drink a beer, golf. This is, you're trying, you're starting early and you're playing all day long, aren't you? Yeah, we tee off before 5 a.m. and you've got to get 100 holes in. So we're, we're going up and, you know, there's a reason we're doing it at this time of the year with near the summer stolson. Yeah. So you get as much daylight as possible. And yeah, we start before 5 a.m. And you know, every round is pretty much two hours. You know, yeah. we, we have a two putt rule. You can't have more than two putts. Uh, if you lose a ball in the woods, which I lose plenty, <laughs> uh, you're not looking for the ball. You just yeah. set a ball down and you're not doing practice swings. You're just going up and hitting the ball and, and going, going as quickly as you can. Are you surprised at how much this event has grown over the years? I mean, you said you started with one, four. Now you have a whole lot of golfers trying to raise some money. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't doing it back when there was four or eight yeah. golfers. So I kind of caught on after that. So I, you know, I, I was drawn to the idea because I thought it was a great idea and I thought it was a great cause. So, um, Am I that surprised? No, I, I, I kind of saw this coming and, mm -hmm. and thought that you know we could we could help take it even even further. And tell me, uh, Birdies for Brains and, and the charity itself, what does it do? Where does the money go to once you raise it? Yeah, so in previous years it's always going it's been going to you know hospitals and the Brain Injury Alliance in Minnesota, and they're actually changing it this year where um, people and families and organizations can now apply to get some of that money. So mm -hmm. you know it could be something as a baseball team wants helmets or. A family is in need of a wheelchair or an, el an elevator in their house because you know, they had some brain injury in which they have to be in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's, we're, we're now going to be kind of accepting ideas and people can apply for it and that's where they're going to divide the money. And I'm guessing you're not keeping score. Do you, do you keep I do your keep score, score for the 100? I do keep What's score. What's your best round of 100 holes? Well, <laughs> you know, it's a different kind of golf score right, right. because, like I said, you can't do more than a two. Well, don't qualify. Just tell us how, so how to. So technically, my best <laughs> round ever was at a birdies for brains Really? Because I've never broken 80 Good in a normal round. I did shoot a 78. But like I said, there's no two-putt rule. Right. So, um, so I save some strokes on the green. But you're also <laughs> going to lose some strokes because you're going to lose more balls that you don't look for. Right. So I think it evens out a little hey, bit. Hey, thanks for coming in. Thanks Good for luck having on me. Monday. Birdies for Brains is Monday at Keller Golf Course in St. Paul. The after party is Sunday, June 25th at Surly Brewing Company. We have a link to learn more. Sponsor a golfer or buy tickets on care11.com. And speaking of preventing head injuries, you can get a